Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Gelderland. How do I stop? Oh, straw crate, deactivate. And I'll just do the straw accessories because that's the one that seems to get me a little bit more money and we'll focus only on that one when we're processing any straw. And I should have finished that first bit of harvest. I go over to you. There we go. Right. Uh, the animals. Now, if we go and have a look, we've got 152,000 liters left in there. I've got 40 grand at the moment from selling that little bit. And we've got 54,000 liters of corn. So I'm going to take the corn back over to our factories and dump that in. And then as soon as I've done that, we'll uh, skip the night. And then we, let me just gonna fold up the header here a minute. Um, once I've dumped in a bit of corn, we can skip the night and then we can go and start work on the other bit of corn harvest, despite the fact that it's a little bit too slow for my tastes. Actually, you know what? I might just... I'm not going to worry. Yeah. I say I'm not going to worry about this bit, but I can't leave it. I, I, I just can't. I can't leave it behind. It's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. On every level. There we go. Right, let's start you up grab that little bit right there. I know grand scheme of things not make a big lot of difference and I have just gone and gotten rid of all of my straw. Well, not all of it. We did get rid of some straw. There. Right. Now, fold you up and then we'll head over this way. I want to put some uh, corn into the potato place and corn into this one. It's the only two areas that actually need any corn. And then when I've done that... There. And... Right. I've got 30,000... Well, 20,000 litres now. I'm putting a bid into each one. I will need to put more into both of them. But I figure if I just put a little bit in to start with... It's just enough to sort of keep them going. And then I'll drop what I can into that one. Which is all of it. How much can you actually take in that one? Oh, that takes 60,000 as well. I think the potato one also takes 60,000 for corn. Uh, yeah, 60,000. Right, so the rest of the corn harvest will fill both of those up. The other cereal place... Wait a minute. Here. The other cereal place, that one doesn't take corn. That one's oats instead. This one here is both oats and corn. The chocolate muesli, we're going to want to produce chocolate. I'll buy in the raisins and we're going to want to produce sugar. Although, see, I'm still of two minds as to whether I should buy in um, raisins and... Well, I suppose we could buy them in to start with. Is whether I actually do any... Um, production of grapes and olives. I might actually at some point and just, just make a few tiny little tweaks to the system in, in my own peculiar style. Right, let's stop you there a second and get a bit more sleep. It is bright and early with 6,666 loan interest. The chickens over here have again run out of food and they're now on 23% health. We've got 38,000 euros in the pot. I'm going to slow that right down because I don't want the chickens to die on us just yet. Well, they don't die. They just go to 0% and stop producing, which is not very useful. Um... I'm buying food in for the chickens, quite happily buying in food for the chickens. i got no qualms of doing that whatsoever. What I don't want to do is buy in food for any of the other animals. Um, something that I didn't do, let me just go there and start buying in a bit of food there. Something that I didn't do was plant wheat or barley this year. I completely forgot about that. So we're not, and we don't have any canola either. I've completely forgotten to do all of the above, which was really stupid on my part. Um, so I guess we could do a load of oats and uh, uh, maybe get some more sunflowers in. I mean, we could branch out and do sugarcane and cotton because the 
Um, I mean, the Netherlands is really known for its plantations of sugarcane and cotton. So, so we could go and do that. So there is 165,000 litres of barley, which I'll tip in for the chickens. I got a lot of eggs over there. So you know what's going to happen next. I'm going to go and pick up as many of the eggs as I can. I'm actually going to fast forward time a little bit more once I've tipped this food out because I want a bit more daylight. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, there. Right. So tip that lot out there. And now we can fast forward time a little bit and we'll be able to see what we're doing. So these poor little ladies are on 23% health. They're on 33%. They're, we've got 60,000 chickens here now, which is pretty good. But I'm going to go up to just past 10 o'clock. There. Right. I'm going to leave that on three times speed. And uh, which one are we going to use? Oh, I don't want to use you. And we'll use the big one. Why is that skewed over like that? That's just weird. I've absolutely no idea why it's done that. That's what I'm after. Right. I have got nothing whatsoever spawning at the potato place. I suspect that's because a lot of the potato things have now run out. Oh, no, they haven't. It's just that we haven't actually reached a thousand liters on any of them yet. Which is surprising. I thought we would have by now. But no, we haven't. Right, okay, well, that's fine. Um I will go and get the single solitary palette of lettuces that we have managed to grow so far. A couple of pallets of eggs. The eggs are got it at the moment, eggs are our big money earner. We've got two and a half thousand liters of lettuce. We've got a couple of litres of eggs right here. I'm curious how many. These are 7,000 litres per pallet because we've got our beautiful, wonderful, amazing, fantastic mod working once again. So that's... <laughs> 180,000 litres of eggs. Oh, that is absolutely glorious. I love it. I absolutely love it. 180,000 litres. Uh, there's some bread right there, which... Uh, you know what? I'm going to take 5,000 litres of bread with me, even though I can technically go and put some into that one over there. The cereal one doesn't have any yet. We've got a little bit of honey right here. We can load that up. I'm going to take that. Right, you know what I'm going to do? And I've loaded this. I'm going to go over here and drop in... Oh, I was going to say I'll drop in what little bit of honey I can. Apparently, the little bit of honey that I'm going to drop in is quite a substantial amount. At 20,000 litres, it'll take 30,000 in total. Oh, more going in there than I appreciated. Okay, that's fine. So I've dumped all of the honey in there. The only other thing that I'm going to want, I could go and put some of these eggs into the pancake factory. I'm not going to do that. I will, however, drive this one over here. So we'll put some eggs and also some bread in there. Because uh, I do want that one to stay full. And then... The only one that I don't want to do anything to is the pancake place, which is the one in the middle. Because that will take all of my eggs, and I really don't want to do that. This one here isn't going to take anything, and the one up round there I don't think is going to take very much either. I think uh, this one... Uh, is this the pizza place, or is this the donut place? This one's already full as well. This is the donuts. The other one's the pizzas. Right, let's go and take this down and sell it. Just something I was thinking about. We got 170... We had almost 180,000 litres of eggs, didn't we? And those 180,000 litres of eggs came about despite us having the chickens at 10% health to start with. 
and they hadn't reached the full 60,000. I mean, some of the 60,000 chickens that we've got are not actually producing eggs yet. So when we do get completely up to the maximum amount that we can take here, it is going to be absolutely, completely and utterly ludicrous. There is going to be an obscene number of eggs being produced by our 60,000 chickens. Um, starting to wonder if maybe we should build a new selling point a little bit closer to the farm so that we can just make more use of it a little bit close to home it might be a better thing i don't know what you think get in the comment section on that one and let me know what your thoughts are uh last few eggs right there and done right two hundred and forty thousand euros from selling that little lot so before i forget and go rushing off to do something different i'm going to buy the cat sugar beet header that i've got right there that one I'm going to increase all the way up to 45 kilometers an hour. Uh, this one, the others, are, I've had various different colors that we've put on it. What are we going to go with this one? That's kind of a, a gold-ish color. What's that called? School Bus New Age. I actually kind of like that. I also kind of like that. Design color. Yeah, I'm going with that. I'm doing that. Right, we want to buy that one at 73,000. I don't think there's anything else that I actually need to buy right now. Not at the moment. We've got everything else that we want to buy. Uh, no, I don't think there is anything else that we're going to need. Now, quite why I've just had fuel costs, I don't really know. Why did I get fuel costs come up? I've just been fined again, 3,000 euros. But I mean, that, that that's nothing really. What's three grand between friends? Um, I do need to put some fuel into that combine. Oh, I got a fuel tank right there. I forgot about that one. All right. We'll drag the combine. Actually, I don't need to worry about that just yet. We, we will eventually drag the combine around, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Let's go to you uh no let's go to you and i'm gonna go back up and I look at the chickens standing around once you put the trailer there they don't get underneath it they they basically stand tidily around the outside of it in a circle that's really considerate of them actually i like that that's that's a really nice touch now let's go over here squeeze in under there and buy a little tiny bit more barley and then once i've bought 100,000 liters worth or so uh, yeah uh, 100,000 euros worth or so we'll, we'll um stop buying i think that's everything that i need to buy before next spring because i missed the planting window for the wheat and the barley which is a bit stupid i left myself with 40,000 euros it did cost me 120 rather than 100. But I've now got 500,000 litres of barley in a trailer here, which I'm going to take over to our little birdies and see if that's going to be enough to keep them going for at least another hour or so. I'm hoping it will be, because th they, they seem to be a little bit peckish. Uh, did, 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 did you see what I did there? Did, well, well did, you, did you hear what I did there? I, I, I should say... It, Peckish. Yeah. Yeah. No. Fine. Fine. Let me go and see what we can do with this. I just wanted to see if I could get rid of this one because... No, no, this is the one that didn't want to be removed. I'm going to need to go and get the tree begone for this one. This is one that is actually in the way. Those over there are not quite so much in the way, but this one is. It's a bit of a nuisance. And... You're a bit in the way as well. Let's get rid of that one as well. We could always put one back on the other bank. Be a bit more out of the way. It, it, it'll be absolutely fine. So quite why this one's all tilted over, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna want... Actually, I don't need to worry about wanting anything at the moment. I think what we should do... I'm gonna be... Ooh, the canola oil is 
Oh, no, it's it's full. That's why. Right. Um, no, if we go and have a look up through here, do I need to plow? Oh, I'm going to need to plow 14. I'm also going to need to plow that one and then the one after. I think there's sunflowers and that. So we're going to need to plow these fields here. Uh, I'm thinking... You know, I have no idea what we're going to do in these three fields. Absolutely no clue at all at the moment. That's just going to require a bit more thought. I just want to point out that these chickens are very happy and healthy. See? They're, they're all around the wheels. None of them are being squashed. There are no chicken pancakes. We have no chicken pancakes. Just want it noted for the record that there are zero chicken pancakes. Now then, I have this bad boy right here, the Capello Quasar HS24, and I was complaining that it was a wee bit slow, so I wouldn't do something about it. So I have done something about it. Now I just want to check my uh, various different things. I am back doing more recording, so materials missing out of space but that is actually out of space that's good uh this one materials missing and uh those are all going fine everything else is all tickety boo apart from the straw accessories which is materials missing we have no water in that one so let's just buy in a little bit of water right there buy that in again and then again and maybe a bit more and then possibly a little bit more after that and maybe we'll just do another lot and then mm, let's do a little bit more as well okay so we have done all of that i did the field over there and gathered up that lot there's one thing that i didn't actually do which i wanted to do which i forgot to do which was uh, just boost this one up a little bit but we don't need to do that just yet i was working on something else for a minute um so i've got some straw in there that we'll need to go and pick up that won't take too long to go and do and then i've got uh this bad boy right here so i've got the capella quasar on the front and i'm gonna want to do something with that so i'm going to head over this way and where did I put corn? Did I put... I can't remember where I actually went and fed corn in. Because I know that I need corn in here. Um, right, so we've got 24,000 litres of corn in that one. And then I also wanted to get some corn into one of these others. I think it was it was just the cereals. I need some in there as well. Right. Uh, but before I can do anything with that, I need to take this one down to the dealership. Because there's something that I want to do down there. And we've got sunflowers that we're going to need to harvest. Let's turn our beacons on. Um, right, okay, that was completely his fault. He made me swerve out of the way, and he shouldn't have done. He should have moved out of my way, because obviously I'm more important. I'm like the, the Don around here, um, except that it's uh, Netherlands and, uh, and not Italy, so um, we, we don't have Dons here. I'm not quite sure. M maybe just Kings, Chieftains, something like that. I, I, I don't really know, but um, yeah. I'm clearly the, the one that's in charge because I've got the biggest machine. And that's all there is to it. So that's all we need to worry about. Anyway, I need to get to the, de to, 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 to the dealership because I have something really important that I want to get. There's actually two really important things that I want to get. One of them is that grass field right there because we need that. And... Uh, we need to be able to make some hay at some point soon. So if we take a look here, you can see that we've got that field there is grass. I'm pretty sure that uh, 70, 53, 42, 35, 13, 2, 1, 4, and 6, and 17, and 46, 61, 63, 59, 56, 66, 60, 28, and 24, 32, and 21 not to bother going through yeah i don't want to go through and um, talk about all of the grass fields or anything but i'm pretty sure those are grass fields so uh we may not necessarily buy field six 17 is going to be part of a great big field that's going to go up through here a big triangle shaped field that we'll end up with um 
maybe we'll do grass over here. I could do 39, 40, 41, and 42. We could turn all of those into one great big long grass field. That could actually work quite well. I like that idea. And then um, maybe we could do these as well and just kind of like have this bit as one field and then this bit as another field. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. But I'm going to need a load of grass because we need to make hay and silage for our cows in order to be able to feed them. So that's on the to-do list. That there is the um, sugar beet thingy that we need to do. That's also on the to-do list. Uh, that one's ready to harvest. Oh, yes, we got the, the sugar beet's ready to harvest. Um, and I need to do that, and I was going to do that, but I don't want to do that just yet. I have another thing that I want to do first. So I'm going to go over here, and then I'm going to unhitch that one and back out of there and then i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna sell that one's 124,000 euros that is so i'm gonna sell that bad boy right there and then i'm going to go into the shop and i'm gonna go here and go to corn headers and then if we go up through we want the capella capello is it capella capello capello the Capello Quasar, and we're going to go for the cat version. Now, this is 187,000 euros. Uh, we can increase the speed ever so slightly, just a tiny little smidgen. Uh, we can go up to 40 kilometers an hour this time, which is a little bit better than what we were creeping along with previously. So that's kind of all I really wanted to do, was just speed it up a bit, but I don't have the money to buy it. I don't want to lease it either, because... Well, I don't. Um, so we're going to go with our loan. Now, we're on 2 million at the moment. I'm going to just add another 100k onto the uh, total loan there that we've got. And I am eventually going to start paying the loan back, right? That That is my solemn promise to you. I will pay the loan back. And now that I've established that we don't actually have any issues with the map like I thought we might have, um, we're going to be able to work here an awful lot better uh don't know what colors to put on here i mean we we kind of had it was mostly black i think that we had last time but um uh hmm. i'm not gonna do pink like uh, i i know i do that a lot and i, I quite like it uh, i did have i think it was the onyx black that i was using previously but i want to use something different let's go with could go with green, Fent Classic, uh, the, the, the Valtra green. That kind of looks like it's the class green. Go with that. The Deutsch. I'm going to go with the Deutz green. That's the one I'm going to go for. Cost me another 1,200, but I mean, we're spending 188,000 euros on this anyway. So let's buy this one. Yep, there we go. So I didn't actually make any other changes to it, just in case you're wondering. I didn't make it any wider than it is already. I figured that being able to do 40 kilometers an hour up and down the field is probably all we really really need from this bad boy so let's go and grab you and i'll run it back over to the farm so we've actually got the sugar beet ready to harvest plus we've got these two fields here that are ready to harvest uh planting windows we've missed the planting windows on the wheat and barley which was my idiocy uh so we'll probably do oat um if we're going for cereals but i think we've done cereals previously now you may have noticed that this is a little bit faster than it used to be that's because i did also tweak that one and just speed it up a little bit because quite frankly i feel that we spend a lot of time waiting around for things to unfold so <laughs> look at that he's waving <laughs> oh that's brilliant that <laughs> way better than I was expecting. I didn't actually test that. I just like, yeah, okay, I'll um, change it around a little bit. Just see if it works. If it does, then fantastic. If it doesn't, well, well, that's just something that we'll deal with. I'm very, very pleased that that has worked out. And we've got straw coming from our sunflowers as well. And we're doing a 40k across the field. This is really good. I like this. This is, this is how harvest should be. Right back up there a little bit so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with the sunflowers to be honest because i don't technically need lots of them i've still got this issue where the straw is kind of being deleted by this machine 
It's to do with the way that it drags on the ground. I'm not quite sure why it has to go and delete the straw, but it does. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. All this straw is a bonus anyway, so it's not like it's um, life-changing stuff and we're getting rid of all the normal straw. This is only going to be happening when we're doing a harvest with this one, so um, I can live with that. Now, these sunflowers, we can take the sunflowers and they can actually be put through because I'm not going to do pigs on this map I, I've decided against doing pigs on this map like I've got cows and I'm probably going to attempt some sheep I think but I, I don't really want to do cat, uh, do pigs because uh, I've done plenty of pigs before and I just don't really feel like it uh, right let's drop you down in there like that and then go along this way um so i'm kind of wondering what i'm gonna do with um the sunflowers now we've got in here if you have a look just in there the, the vegetable fat one in there i can take sunflower oil and i can turn that into vegetable fat if i want to except i'm already doing that with canola oil and i don't think that i have any well, I don't have any need to go and do that with anything else. I'm not sure what else I've got that I can do anything with for sunflowers because I did have to get rid of a few different items. And I did previous... I mean, I could just make sunflower oil and we could sell the sunflower oil. That would be absolutely fine. And everything that spawns out of it, then we just go and take that. Uh, we don't want it in the cereals. I will... I'll tell you what. Hang on a minute. The Butter Co. factory right there allows you to blend vegetable oils with milk in order to make butter, so you get more butter for less milk, essentially. Uh, so I guess we could use it for that. Now there's one, Diesel Factory. We can actually go and make diesel with sunflowers, with canola, or with soybeans. So the canola is being used to make the oil which we're using for the Potato Factory. Soybeans I don't really have a use for at the moment. Um, but the sunflowers... Uh, soybeans I'm going to do something else with. Uh, sunflowers, right here though, um, yeah, we could make diesel. How much does diesel sell for? Let's have a look at that. The container cell, the restaurant and the sell everything container, is about 2,000 euros per thousand litres of diesel. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.